If you ever visit Kenya and you're looking for that unique camping experience, Mount Siswa is the place to go. <laughs> Leaving the comfort of my home to go and explore the outdoors. Discover things that have already been discovered. So we filled up the car with everything and anything that we think we needed. That's a lot of stuff. Mount Suswa is about two and a half hours away from Nairobi. Something amazing about Mount Suswa is that it's a community-owned conservancy, which means the people living in the area get to benefit from it. Okay, so we finally made it after going through treacherous terrain. Uh, it took about two and a half hours from Nairobi. We were supposed to leave at 7 but we left at like 8 p.m. after just, you know, waking up early in the weekend. So here we are, and the view is. Look at that. Looks really cool, right? I've just stepped aside a little bit just to do this mini vlog. But yes, I'm so excited to be out of the city, just at least for the weekend, even if it's just for a short while so if you're keen while traveling throughout east africa you would notice that the maasai tribes throughout different regions within east africa all wear the signature shuka but they all have a different print or color for example in the mount susu region the maasai's here wear their signature sky blue pink or sometimes red Okay, it's time to set up tent. I always like to tell myself, this is just gonna take 10 minutes. But in reality, it takes about 20 minutes. And then getting the hooks into the ground, ooh, ooh, I don't know. A few unnecessary facts about Mount Suswa that you never asked for but should know. So Mount Suswa is 2,500 meters high, about 2,500 meters high and it's so cool because there's like two there's like a crater there's like two craters almost because of the way the eruption took place the center crater there's another crater and then now we're on the outer crater or are we between the two craters no we're on the outer crater but yeah looks super cool usually in this area here there's usually quite a number of rock hyrax but still haven't come across any hopefully we get to see some I love rock hyrax because of how quiet they are. They're so quiet and super still. So we're just hoping to see a few. But yes, there's quite a number of flies here. I guess because it's just been dry all over. But yeah, usually this place is relatively green, but I mean, it still looks green. But I think because there's been um, severe drought in Kenya, it's not as green as it usually is. But yeah, I'm still down to chill and enjoy be wild um and it's just like i feel like it's such a good place just to like meditate and be quiet and just like enjoy the general outside environment and of course go for a hike tomorrow i think we might go to the bad cave i'm not so sure i don't like caves in general but yeah i could take you guys to the cave if, if you okay if you, as i say if you want to see the cave but of course you have no choice in this decision because here i am with a camera Yes, this is this is Kenya. This is parts of Kenya. This is how beautiful the the country is. Something that you need to carry when you go camping, which many people don't think about, get an electric pump for your water. It'll make it so much easier. Do you know what they say about shukas? You buy them in a duka. Okay, it's time for lunch. And while cooking, because it's so windy up here, you need to build a fort are beautiful sandwiches with this amazing view i say beautiful sandwiches because we were hungry oh but these ones are really skinny because of the drought when it got to nightfall we got to sit under the stars enjoy the campfire make some s'mores it was beautiful and the stars were amazing make sure to look at when the moon will be rising and setting just so you can get a chance to see the stars
Next morning, we woke up to a beautiful sunrise, just sleeping in our tent, looking outside at the crater. It was beautiful. And then it got to the time when we said, you know what, we're gonna go explore some caves. So our guide for going on a hike and caves was Nina and he was amazing. So my name is Nina, a resident from Mount Suswa. This is where I live, this is where I was born. Uh, behind me is Mount Suswa, uh, which we do some activities like camping, camping and hiking. I'm mostly welcoming you for camping and camping, also for hiking. Karibuni sana. So fun facts about the Bat Cave. Well, no, not Bat Cave, but Mount Suswa, the caves. So they are about 75 caves in Mount Suswa and the cave that we're exploring today is cave number 18A and 18B. We got to see the bats and um, I would recommend bringing in a mask because the bats may be cute, but they they smell like poison. We also got to explore the baboon parliament where the baboons come and meet every day at about 6 p.m. or is it 4 p.m.? But they come every day and they have their discussions about politics, you know, global warming, everything. That's what the baboons do every day. So if you aren't afraid of baboons perhaps you could stay until the baboons come but apparently there's usually about 200 baboons here and i was like i'm not gonna stick around for that i'm gonna go i hope you enjoyed the little short video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe or leave a comment below you know where you want me to go explore next happy camping and if you'd like to see other camping videos i've done some on the abadares and chulu hills as well bye